Hey, how's it going? John here with Trucking with John D. And I'm going to talk about the controversy, the, the debate, the ongoing debate, the controversy is surrounding uh, lease purchasing a truck and buying a truck. And there's people who are all for lease purchase, and then there are people that are totally against lease purchase, and they're all for saving up your money and buying a truck straight up. And uh, people who will at least purchase typically are people who don't really have the money or uh, the ability to save up enough money to put, you know, 20%, 15, 20% down on a truck and then lease it on to a company. Because these purchase deals usually typically are no money down, no credit check type deals. So in, sense, in, in essence, what you're doing when you lease purchase is renting the truck, basically renting a company truck. Um, the advantage of doing that, because typically someone doing a lease purchase is their first, uh, their first trip around the block as a owner operator or in the game of making the truck payment, uh, basically running your own business as a uh, owner operator. So you, they don't know yet. They're not 100% committed to the idea of is on, is is owning my own truck and uh, running my own trucking business. What I really want, what I really want to do, and that's the advantage I would say of a lease purchase is that typically a lease purchase is a walk away lease. It's kind of like taking uh, truck ownership for a test drive. Because when you are buying a truck, when you're putting 10 grand down, five grand down, two grand down, any amount of money down on a truck, typically the term of that uh, finance offer is three years, four years, five years, and you're not you're not able to walk away from truck ownership or that truck payment if things don't work out or if you decide, hey, this isn't for me. You're basically stuck with that truck payment. Only thing you can do is take that truck and put it on with a different company. With a lease purchase, most lease purchases are walkaway lease. Some of them do have a penalty if you do uh, terminate the lease contract before it's up. But you can wash your hands of that lease, that truck payment, free and clear most of the time. So that, and that's a good thing and a bad thing because. It's not gonna be easy regardless. It's not gonna be easy whether you're leasing or you're buying the truck and putting it on with a company. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have good weeks, you're gonna have bad weeks. And the problem with that is, how many good weeks, I mean, how many bad weeks are you willing to put up with before you decide to give up? So that's kind of the disadvantage of making it easy for somebody to be able to give up, you know? So there's gotta be some kind of commitment to seeing things through you know because whether you have your own truck or you're just leasing you gotta be able to weather the storms you're gonna you, know, you gotta be able to weather the ups and downs of the trucking industry you know so i'm not here to say one thing's better than the other because i haven't done either one but i'm at i'm looking at uh doing one or the other I'm looking at either lease purchasing or I'm looking at saving up and um, buying a truck or putting money down on a truck. So, and this is me after having eight plus years in the industry, I haven't taken that leap into truck ownership. And usually it's because, well one, I didn't have the money because it wasn't something that was big on my things to do list. Maybe the past year it has been, but uh, but uh, but I have looked at lease purchasing in the past, and every time I crunched the numbers, it just didn't seem worth the headache. It didn't seem worth the trouble. But as I've learned more, gained more experience over the years, and gained more business knowledge, you know, business, you know, how to run and operate a business, and then I, I was able to see things a little differently when it comes to. Uh, the tax benefits, the write-offs, and things like that—that that makes if you can lease purchase with a uh, 
if you can find a good lease purchase deal that makes it worthwhile. So this is my opinion what to look for in a lease purchase deal that, that will increase your chances of success. One of them is that you're paid percentage. You know, whatever that percentage is, the, the, most companies pay 65% or more uh, for, you know, per load. So you wanna look at, does a company pay percentage? The next thing you wanna look at, can you self-dispatch? Can you pick your own loads? Because that's very important because if you're relying on dispatch to run your business, then the only, it's only a matter of time before you basically starve yourself out or they starve you out. So you wanna get paid percentage, you wanna be able to pick your own loads. And the third thing you wanna be able to do is get access to a variety of freight, variety of freight or different variety of loads. And this is it. This is if you haven't already chosen a niche you want to operate in, whether it's flatbed, step deck, van, reefer, uh, specialized heavy haul, um, household goods, auto hauling, car hauling, um, hazmat. You know, if you don't have a specific niche that you're going to focus on, which I would recommend that you find a niche to focus on. And this is just me. I would recommend always focus when you always focusing on a specialization. You know, I don't think that you can make good money running dry van. From what I hear from other owner operators out there doing it, but the money, the big bucks are in specialized niches. Just like a special a specialist, like a doctor who specializes in a certain thing, makes more money than a regular primary care physician. So when you specialize, you can demand more money. So I would recommend specializing in a specific thing, whether that's step deck, whether that's household goods, whether that's car hauling. If you want to specialize in a niche instead of just focusing on drive-in because, you know, everybody's doing drive-in. Everybody can do drive-in. So what, what are you going to bring to the table that's special to the drive-in niche then that somebody, they can't get somewhere else? You know, they can, you know, drive van drivers are a dime a dozen, you know, and I've driven drive, drive van most of my trucking career, but I've also uh, pulled curtain side. I've also done flatbed, you know, open deck flatbed. I've done reefer. And of course I pull hazmat loads. So I got a, I wouldn't say a good, I got a move of, I got some variety of uh, stuff I can do. Uh, but yeah, you want to get paid percentage, you want to be able to pick your own loads, and then you want the company to uh, basically cover, like when you lease or lease it on, you want the company to cover basically most of the expenses, as much as possible. Of course, you will definitely have to pay your insurance and your truck payment, but you want a company that's going to pay for the plates, permits, uh, offer fuel discounts, it's going to file your 2290. It's going to file uh, your IFTA. You know, it's going to do all this other stuff that, as a, if you had your own authority, you have to do all, all on your own. And sure, if you have your own authority, you um, will make way more, but with more responsibility, with more money comes with more responsibility. So don't think, you know, you know, don't think that, oh, I'm going to do this because it makes more money mean it's going to be easy you know you're going to do this you don't want something because it makes more money or pays more money because it's more that you have to do so that's all i gotta say about that topic if you're going to lease purchase i think those can be lease purchasing can be a good deal if you specialize and you follow that criteria that i, I set out because if you don't want if you realize that you know this own operator thing or even trucking itself isn't for me anymore you can just walk away from the lease without it really hurting your credit without it hurting uh now watch being stuck with a truck note whereas if you uh financed your truck or even if you bought it straight up 
you basically struck with that truck note or you just stuck trying to sell that truck note. So yeah, that's all I got to say. If you got some value out of this video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll check you out in the next one.